play a game with the graham crackers and we're going to share them between me and you, okay? Okay. Do you think that we shared those fairly? No. No, why not? You share. You have those and I have this one. Well, what about, what, what if we try this? Okay, can I put this down right there? Okay. Now is it fair? Yeah. Yeah, why is it fair now? Because we both have two. Okay, so you see that she obviously lacks in conservation because she is in the pre-operational stage. Okay, the third stage is the concrete operational stage. In this stage, we're talking about children um, between six to seven years old is the beginning of the stage. They begin to grasp conservation problems, so they are able to pour the liquid back and forth and understand that there's still the same amount in them. However, they cannot think abstractly at all. So children in this stage are also able to transform mathematical functions. So if 4 plus 8 is 12, then a transformation 12 minus 4 is 8 is also easily doable to them in this stage. Let me show you a video. So first we're going to look at these two cups right here. Do you think there's the same amount of juice in this glass as there is in that glass? There you go. Okay, so we're going to take the juice from this glass and pour it into this one right here. Okay, so now we're going to look at this glass and that one. So do you think that there's more juice in this glass, more juice in this glass, or do you think that they have the same amount? Same amount. Okay, why do you think that they have the same amount? Just because this is skinny doesn't mean... It, it, it doesn't, it's not the same amount. It, it has the same amount of juice in it, but it, this one is just wider and this one's skinnier, but they have the same amount of juice in it. So you say that uh, she obviously has this conservation ability because she's in the concrete operational stage. She can think uh, her way through that. The last stage is the formal operational stage. This happens at around age 12, and children in this stage are able to reason. Um, their reasoning ability is expanding. They can think abstractly. They can use symbols and imagine realities to systematically reason their way through things. So if you give them kind of an equation and you say, if I drop this cup and the cup is glass, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to say, the cup is going to break. But you say, well, I'm going to tell you right now that when I drop this glass, it's not going to break. What is going to happen? And they'll say, well, you said it's not going to break, so it's not going to break. So they are able to defy logic. Let me show you an example. If you hit a glass with a hammer, the glass will break. And then this one says, Don hit a glass with a hammer. So what happened to the glass? It broke. It broke. Why did it break? Because the hammer's hard. If you hit a glass with a feather, the glass will break. No, it won't. And this is the second rule. Don hit a glass with a feather. What happened to the glass? Nothing. Nothing happened? Why didn't anything happen? Because it fell soft. So this child is not in the formal operational stage. He does not understand the rule that she just gave him. First one says, if you hit a glass with a feather, the glass will break. Okay. And the second one, Don hit a glass with a feather. What happened to the glass? It broke. And why did it break? Because the rule says, if you hit a glass with a feather, it'll break. So if you hit a glass with a feather, it broke. So you see, she's able to understand the rule and say, well, I know in reality it's not going to break, but you just told me that it would. I'm able to follow the theory or the rule that you gave. So in the formal operational stage, rudiments of such thinking begin around seven years old. Um, since seven year old, a seven-year-old could, in theory, solve the problem below. If John is in school, Mary is in school. John is in school, what can you say about Mary? 
And a seven-year-old will say, well, you said if John's in school, Mary's in school. So if John's in school, then Mary must be in school. Where in reality, a younger child might say, I don't know where Mary is. I, I, I don't know. Um, so when we go back and look at the four stages all together, like I said, it is extremely important. The first one is the sensory motor stage. We're talking around birth to two years of age. They are experiencing the world through senses and they lack object permanence and they often have stranger anxiety because of that. Around two years old to six years old, they progress into the pre-operational stage. This is where they are representing things with words and images and they're using, using in, uh, intuitive thought or intuition rather than logical reasoning. They are going to engage in pretend play. They're often egocentric. They lack the theory of mind. They cannot take on someone else's viewpoint. The third stage, concrete operational, seven to 11 years. They're thinking logically about concrete events, grasping analogies, and starting to perform mathematical operations. They do have the uh, conservation down, and they're able to use complex classification for their schemas. The fourth stage, the uh, formal operational stage, 12 years old through adulthood, they're using abstract logic and there is a potential for a more mature reasoning. And I will leave you with this cute little video of a three-year-old explaining Star Wars. <laughs> Darth Vader, he'll get ya. It's an exciting movie. 